Jason Price one long time no see Cole here with another video and this is gonna be called Q and A Wednesday. Hopefully this will be a continuous series every week on Wednesday. I will do Q and A questions. Now this week we have 32 random questions for you guys. And oh my gosh, I have no idea what these are gonna say, so hopefully they're not too crazy, but they're just random. Found them on a tag website where they have all kinds of tags where we'll be getting some of our videos done. And also, I also want to mention before this QA video gets kicked off, please go down in the description and if you are a small YouTube channel or you're interested, please click the link down below to go check out Maker Studios. Without further ado, now let's start our QA video. Alright, so question number one is do you sleep with your closet door? And that was just a little little kid thing that I eventually grew out of and yeah. Gotta say hybrid. Question number two, do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? No, not really. I feel like that's kind of a girl thing. that in mind. Moving on, question number four, have you ever stolen a street sign? Uh, no, I can't say that I have. Uh, I, I haven't stolen a street sign. I, th I think I have like a sign somewhere. It wasn't even a street sign. It was just some sign that I found in the trash. It was like, I don't know, some event sign, but it's not even, I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I still have it, but no, I haven't. Question number five, do you cut out coupons and then never use them? Yeah, I, I've i done that occasionally for like GameStop and stuff. Back when GameStop used to have their weekly ads, now that it's all electronically, but back when they used to have paper ads, I used to cut them out and put them in a lo little bag. But I don't do that anymore because it's all electronic. Question number six, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or be or a swarm of bees? Um, probably, this is a tough one. Uh, I would go with a swarm of bees. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just feel like a big bear. I have no chance of surviving. At least a swarm of bees. I know somebody that survived a swarm of bees. My mom had a whole beehive sting her, even though she was allergic, and she still made it out. Number seven, Did you do you always smile for pictures? Most of the time, unless I feel like my teeth are yellow, then I just go. But most of the time I do smile. I like to show them pearly whites that most of the time I will have if I remember to brush my teeth. Hey, do you ever count your steps when you walk? Um, my phone, I have a Samsung phone, so it automatically does it for me. So yeah, I guess I do count my steps. But I guess if you're talking about in my head, uh, I used to when I was a little kid, I used to count the steps everywhere I would go out, like the little steps up like stair staircases and stuff, I would do that. Uh, nine, have you ever peed in the woods? Yes I have. I'm pretty sure almost every boy has peed in the woods or peed in the grass. Ten, do you still watch cartoons? Occasionally I do. I don't watch them as much as I used to, but occasionally I watch like Spongebob and stuff like that. Moving on to question number eleven, where, where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Uh, there's a road, there's a road in uh, my neighborhood called Baja, and we call it the Baja Backroads. It's this nice open area with all these, it's literally a corn maze, but there's no corn. It's, it grows humongous, it's taller than me, the weeds are. And if you walk through, you get to this big open area, and I, I buried something there before that I wanted to keep away from everybody, and I feel like if I needed to bury anything else important, I would probably go there. Number 12, what do you drink with dinner? Normally I'll drink tea or lemonade, but if I'm having, 
if I'm having like a sandwich or something like that, I'll drink milk. Or if I'm, yeah, if I'm having a sandwich, I'll drink milk. Every t every other time I'll have tea or uh, sometimes I'll have water with flavoring in it, which is pretty good. I'm trying to think, what else do I have? Sometimes I'll just have plain water, too. What do you dip a chicken nugget in? I don't really like dick dipping my chicken nuggets in anything, to be honest. I feel like, uh, I, I honestly don't like chicken nuggets that much, so... If I ever did, it would probably be hot sauce. Ugh, sorry, I have to scroll down. <laughs> what movies would could you watch over and over and still love? Um, uh, probably a Kevin James movie called Here Comes the Boom. Um, also Billy Madison. That's a great movie. I can watch that over and over again. Uh, six, fifteen. Were you ever a Girl Scout? Not that I can remember. <laughs> uh, no, because I'm a boy. I was a, I was a Boy Scout for like a day, one time a couple couple years ago. Uh, let's see. Would you ever do a photo shoot for a magazine, wearing designer clothes? Probably not. I'm I'm not one of those people. Seventeen. Can you change the oil in in a car? No, I don't really have a clue, but I could, nowadays you could just YouTube it and probably figure out how to do it in like less than 10 minutes. 16, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? I don't drive, so nope. 19, afraid of heights? Not really, not for the most part, like skydiving maybe. Skydiving, I'm more scared of the parachute not opening, not heights. 10, or 20, do you sing in the car? Yes, I do. I think everybody does. Twenty one is Christmas stressful. Um, that's a that's a really good question. Um, it depends on what part. If you're talking about present buying, it really is because I have I have like a medium sized family. I have a lot of cousins and stuff, and it's hard to make sure I send a present to all of them or send money or a card or whatever. And they're all different ages. They age from like, I'd say like, uh. Uh, third, third or fourth grade to senior, a senior in college. So it's really hard to find something that they like. Occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid. When I was younger, um, I don't know. I think I always wanted to be a police officer. To be honest, uh, do you believe in ghosts? No, not really. I, I, I once went on this ghost not too long ago. I think it was this summer. Yeah, actually it was during the school year last year, towards the end, I went on this ghost tour in St. Augustine, Florida, and it was, one of the places was at a fort that I went to that day, and they were talking about this specific room that if you took pictures, a little, like, something would appear on your screen, and the funny fact about it was, when you get it, the ticket is good for all week, and we were staying there for a couple days, and... I had remembered going in that room, so I took my dad in that room, and we took pictures, and we saw the same thing. So I was wondering if maybe it was just like a hoax, and they had something set up, but I don't know. So I don't really believe in ghosts, but if I did, I mean, that would be uh, one of the signs that ghosts were real. Uh, do you, um, the first concert you ever went to? I don't really go to many concerts, even though I've been to a few uh, when I was a smaller kid, like third grade, yeah, this is really sad to admit, but there was this Nickelodeon group called Big Time Rush. Yeah, I'm probably going to get made fun of now. Uh, BTR, some people didn't know them as. I went to their concert before, and yeah, I was a fanboy for a day. Um, 24, or 25, Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Alright, I'm going to narrow, I'm going to do top, I'm going to rate them 1, 2, and 3. Kmart's going to have to be number three, and they never really have what I'm looking for, unless I'm looking for something for my pool. They normally have good pool toys and whatnot. Number two is going to have to be Walmart, because Walmart's dirty, not reliable. And number one is going to have to be Target. I'm pretty sure a lot of people go to Target to get stuff. And it seems like a lot of YouTubers I watch, they're always, always, always in Target getting stuff. It's really funny to see that. Uh, Nikes or Adidas? Nikes. 
I always wear Nikes. I, I can't say that I've ever owned a pair of Adidas. Maybe I did when I was smaller, but no. Can you curl your tongue? Let's see. No, I don't think I can. Tell me in the comments if that counts. I don't think it does. Oh man, I'm flying through this question. Flying. 20, have you ever cried because you were so happy? Jeez, I don't know if I have. Probably once or twice. Uh, 29, the last concert you saw. I'm trying to remember, I went, I went to some concert. It was a small concert, but it still counted. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the person. Uh, Alright, we'll just say it was a small concert and the guy doesn't really sing anymore. Anyways, 30, can you swim well? Um, fun fact about that, well, some of you may know that from previous videos that I do have a pool. So I swim pretty well. I was, I learned how to swim when I was younger. And uh, when I was in third or fourth grade, I was on the junior swim team at the YMCA, and I never decided to continue because it was too much work. But I was a pretty good swimmer, and uh, I went to summer camp, and I would always be the first one to take the swimming test and pass it, and I'd be one of the only people that would be able to go on the water side because all those other kids, let's face it, they didn't know how to swim. And that's one of the reasons a lot of people go to the... Uh, YMCA is because they don't have a pool and they don't really know how to swim and they can take swimming lessons and whatever, whatever. Um, 31, can you, can you knit of croquette? I don't even know what that means, can you knit of croquette? I don't know, I'll have to look that up later. Um, no, but I can sew. Last year I had to take home ec or home economics and... Sadly, I, I had to learn how to snow. Um, here. Oh, where's it at? I made this in home ec, so yeah, something to be proud of. Sleep with that baby every night. It's pretty comfortable, actually. I like it. Um, and finally, the last question, are you a dog or cat person? Uh, this is kind of a debatable question. I really do like dogs, and I want a dog pretty bad, but I have two cats right now. I have an older cat that's like 18, and then I have a younger cat that's like 3 or 4, or something like that. Um, I, I would have to say I'm more of a cat person, because I've been around cats all my life, but I do really want a dog, and hopefully I can get a dog at some point in the near future. Um, so, that is it for this Q&A video. I felt like I flew through it, but, I mean, it's supposed to be short and stuff like that. Um, there's going to be some more tags coming out. This was the Q&A tag, but it's Q&A Wednesday, so next week will be Q&A Wednesday. Number two, I'll find another set of questions. Hopefully not all of them are the same. Hopefully none of them are the same. And then here's just a quick update. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of tags and stuff. And also, I'm trying to get a hold of Seth and Brett. I know their mom, my mom and their mom talk a lot, but it's just, right now, it's not the point of interest to try and get in contact with them through her. Um, I sent a text out to both of them last week, and I haven't heard anything back, so I'll try and reach out to them, maybe call one of them. I know Seth, the last time I talked to Seth, he had dropped his phone and cracked it, so I'm wondering if he's getting it repaired. Brett, I texted him, and I never got a text back, so... I will let you guys know and hopefully we will see them here for the next video. Stay tuned and I want to apologize for not posting a video last week and I really wanted to do a Halloween prank video but it didn't turn out the way I wanted to because I had I had a ghillie suit and I wanted to do some ghillie suit prank and it just never really worked out because I was trick or treating late and then I had to come back and babysit so it never really worked out the way I wanted. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And also, I'm also going to play... Alright, I'm actually going to answer some questions that I, I thought were kind of weird that they weren't in here. And I'm going to answer two questions. One, what is your favorite sport? And two, what are your favorite sport teams? Three, what is your favorite songs? Alright, so one, what is your favorite sport? Favorite sport to play is probably baseball. Favorite sport to watch is probably football. I'm really into football. I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. 
Yeah, go Buffalo all the way. One Buffalo. Hashtag one Buffalo. Um, two. Dang it, I forgot what two was. Uh, awkward. Oh yeah, what's your favorite sport team? Uh, I like I like the Buffalo Bills. For ho I like to watch hockey too. I forgot to mention that. Um, for hockey, I like the Buffalo Sabers. And for baseball, I don't really have a baseball team, but I guess since I live in Florida, it would be the Miami Marlins. I don't know. I don't really follow baseball that much, even though I play. I love to play baseball though. And I also like to run cross country. It's probably it's probably tied for baseball and cross country. Favorite songs. Um, I will probably not. I can't play a sample of them because I'll get in trouble for copyright infringement. But I'm gonna play at the end of this video. You're gonna hear the Buffalo Sabres goal song, which is currently one of the best songs out there, and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And now this awesome goal song. See you guys. Now to Ennis. Ennis trying to cut in front of the net. Took the shot. Rebound. He scores! Roll the highlight film. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. Now listen. Somebody make some noise in this joint, man.